Hi, everyone. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this video. Uh, my name is Sandeep Pujar. I'm a program manager on uh, Azure ID Central. Uh, I focus on uh, device connectivity, device management, and device modeling. And uh, today we are talk going to talk about uh, three things. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, one, uh, how easy and simple it is to connect devices that are already known, meaning that are Azure certified. Uh, we work with a bunch of device partners to, uh, to get them on board onto our, uh, our platform. Uh, we'll also talk about how uh, easy and simple it is uh, for you to uh, build your own devices um, and, and sort of uh, create models around it, create visualizations around it, and, and use the full breadth of IoT Central experience. Right? So that's the second one. The third one is, uh, once you've done that, how can you uh, easily scale that uh, into, into a production environment? How can you connect them more securely and, and also sort of take it to production uh, right away? So uh, those are the three topics that we'll, we'll quickly cover in the discussion today. Uh, so what you see on the, on the screen here today uh, on, my, uh, on the demo, this is where you see all the devices uh, that have been Azure IoT certified for plug and play. Uh, they automatically work uh, out of the box with IoT Central. So uh, if you're a solution developer, uh, you would uh, essentially come in here, uh, pick a device uh, based on your solution's needs, and then uh, sort of click away and then create a solution for yourself, uh, buy these devices, connect them, and you have an end-to-end -end solution uh, ready, right? Within literally minutes. Uh, you didn't have to uh, basically spin up anything on the cloud side. You didn't have to write a single line of code on the device side. You have the entire experience uh, ready uh, and the solution ready uh, uh, fairly quickly, right? So that is the, the promise of, of ID Central. Uh, the, the other thing I'll call out is like, uh, you can connect a range of devices, right? You have a simple uh, USB 32 device that, that uh, you can connect here, uh, uh, or you can connect a fairly complex device like the one behind me, which is a Moxa gateway. Uh, again, in the industrial setup, right? So IoT Central caters for this wide range of devices, so you can connect uh, a simple and a complex device. And as we kind of uh, sort of uh, scale our, our solutions, our experiences uh, to the industrial IoT scenarios, we are uh, sort of engaged and, and working very closely with a bunch of uh, IoT, uh, IoT connectivity partners. Uh, for example, there is CloudRail, there is Ignition. So you are bringing a lot of those cloud partners on the way uh, uh, IoT partners, connectivity partners uh, onto IoT Central and then making it simple for a lot of our IoT customers to connect their device into IoT Central. So we're also making that part simple. Uh, let's move to the second part now where you have your own device and you are trying to sort of bring that to IoT Central, connect that and then interact and then sort of build the experiences with IoT Central. Uh, we'll quickly look into that. So, so here for our demo, what I have is I have a, a simple device uh, uh, connected. Uh, it's a it's a simple thermostat that I have. And uh, the moment I connected that device, again, uh, you as a user or a developer would have to sort of put the right credentials on the device. And once you connect that, you basically see uh, uh, the, the device connected and see the, the raw data, the JSON data that the device is sending on here, right? So it's a, it's a fairly easy way for you to connect and start seeing the value of, of, of that connected data in the cloud. So you already see that here. Uh, the second part is you can also interact with the device here. For example, this device uh, has a has a, a cloud to device sort of a, a message pattern or a command pattern uh, that that is implemented on the device. So if you have that, you can uh, quickly sort of uh, run that and interact with the device. For example, here as I said, this command this device has a command called get min max report. It basically push the min max data for for the thermostat from the device. So I'm just going to basically run this device, the the command right. So it's going to the idea here is. You can not only get the uh, device to the cloud data in, in a raw data view format, uh, but you can also sort of interact with the device from the cloud back to the device. So uh, that's what we did here. Uh, so now that you have figured out how to interact with the device, see the data in the cloud, uh, you, you want to do a little more with this device. You want to build a, a much more richer experience with Central and provide or build a model for it, right? So you can uh, quickly do that. Uh, without without having to sort of go through writing the the, the model itself uh, or author the model itself by quickly inferring it based on the incoming data. So you would basically go here and auto create template, and when you do that, you, be, you you are presented with a bunch of telemetry that is coming in, and then you say, yeah, this looks great. Go create a model for me, right? So you go create a model uh, in ID Central. Again, what the, what model helps with, model or template helps in ID Central is it will provide ID Central the context of what the data is or the shape for the data is so that in ID Central you can build a much more richer set of experiences, right? For example, you can build uh, 
dashboards for this devices, device, right? You can build uh, rules and, and alerts on the device based on the data shape that is coming in. So a lot of that is also uh, interesting when you, when you kind of model the device from an IT central perspective. So uh, as I said, the second part was about, you can easily cut, connect the device, you can interact with the device, you can see the raw data, and, and you can uh, create a model uh, without having to sort of author, hand author it, but just by clicking a few buttons and inferring the model based on the data. Uh, finally, we look at a, a few security aspects, uh, especially when you're trying to scale your uh, solutions or scale your devices into a production environment. One of the key concerns is how can I connect that, connect these devices in a, in a more secure way, right? So that's covered as well. Again, if you look at uh, uh, the, the, the support here, uh, here we would go in into the security section for the device. And what we, we have this concept of, of device uh, enrollment groups, uh, again, where, uh, where you basically group a lot of these devices and then back them up with uh, uh, cert-based authentication so that you can securely connect those devices into, uh, into the cloud, right? So that's, the, uh, that's sort of the scale motion for, for connecting devices to, to the cloud uh, in a more secure fashion. So those, that kind of covers the, the overall sort of, hey, you can connect simple known devices out of the box with ID Central, you can bring your own devices, model what you need in ID Central and, and leverage all the experiences in ID Central, and then finally scale that into a production environment and then sort of take it to your customers, right? So that's kind of uh, in a nutshell that what we covered here. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope this was really useful to you. And if you want to learn more, here are some links. Thank you so much.